everyone. I am now live at Lloyd Land Rover in Carlisle with the new Defender 110. Um, this won't be a drive video today as much as I am anticipating that. However, we are going to have a good look around and see what there is to have a look at and maybe answer a few questions that you all had as well. I have a very special guest with me today, my dad. And we've both had a very good look around it already and filmed some other footage in the meantime. So right now, this is, hopefully he will stop being shy and he'll come round and have a, have a chat with you all as well. Um, we've got the keys. So as long as the keys are in the vehicle, the vehicle will start with the trusty start button, of course. And if you have a look here, got the front, the control panel, dashboard, yeah, digital dash dashboard. screen. Digital dashboard, yeah. And if we turn the vehicle on, which just hopefully push it the should, button. just the start button. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now somebody did ask if you can connect more than one, one phone to this. There we go, that's better. Somebody did ask if you can get more than one device or phone to the Bluetooth. However, the whole vehicle has Wi-Fi that I imagine everyone can connect to. But as far as having one device connected to the physical vehicle, I don't see how or why you'd want that to work anyways. If you only can have one phone, I'm sure it's the driver or the passenger. Um, let's have a look at the interior. Nice cargo space, nice taking that as the fridge button to control temperature which is very very nice very snazzy for the defender lifts up coffee cups nice big coffee cups and that's rubber you put that back down it's back up we've it's actually turned it on it's all, yeah, oh turn gosh it it's away. cold already it is, yeah. <laughs> that was quick it's adjustable it's got three settings off full low off it's all quite strong as well, Jess. It is. We've also checked out the interior space, cargo space. Which is pretty, pretty colossal for the new Defender. Um, it's probably not as big as the Discovery 3 or 4 uh, in terms of cargo space, we'd say. Maybe, probably because the roof's slightly lower. We'd have to look at the... However, it's nice and easy to just put the seats down. Obviously, you'd have to sort out the headrests, push which I can't do with one hand. Oh, I can do that with one hand. Push the seat forward. And then pull out the seat. And there you go. It's as easy as that. You can do it one-handed. And that is fully flat. Very nice. And I will show you from the other side. Opening the door to the back. Rear load cover. We've already had a look at this. So it can be used as a floor cover and it also attaches to little... Well, there's two little ports on both sides so of the... it can be a the screen down. Alpine windows. Or it can be a load cover. So it has under storage which isn't big enough to fit a tire but the tires on the back anyways however it's nice and deep you also have i'm guessing that's tire recovery winch towing, no towing. no winch that's your um, <laughs> jack like and your tow and eye right and you can get an as an extra a tire punch and repair kit that fits in there both established beforehand a lot of power outlets and impressively this is your obvious generic household plug socket which is uh, amusing I'm not entirely sure what those are that actually that'll be part of the yeah it's just a, it's a hang your baskets on ah. hang your bag on I think yeah. Air got suspension. controlled air suspension to the back of the vehicle with these two buttons, but you have to keep your finger on. I'll do it. And 
Here we go. So you can see the real arches are going down. And I'm guessing that will make things easier for loading. Yep, which is quite a high. It is obviously quite a high vehicle, as it is. Very impressive. And obviously, easy to get everything back to where it is. The seats are lovely. Hardware and plastic. Good. We also have lift up carpet, pops off. So if you wanted to go off roading, the floor is nice and sealed, hard plastic, easy to wash down with, as we all know, a fitted hose, which is another added option to the new Defender. But the carpet can just come off. More power points, and air middle aircon, and what I'm supposing, coin, coin box. or the possibility of modification in future mm -hmm. Land Rovers, who knows? I don't really want to modify it myself, but. And also, there we go, and drop that down. You've got more seat cups, seat covers. Isofix for kiddie seats. And also, I'm guessing that is also for baby seats. Yep, tether. Yeah, it's a tether for the child seat. So, all nice and family friendly. Now the panel, which is structural to the Discovery, uh, the Defender 110, not on the 90. And of course, if we get into the driver's seat, which is a huge test, <laughs> For me, yeah, I've got a lot more space in the new Defender rather than like that in the old Defender. Of course, everything's run by electrics. You can see that that's first edition. We are in a first edition, which is very nice. And everything works pretty, pretty well. And if we have a look, yep, I fit in this quite, ooh, excuse my hand, quite pleasantly. Um, there is the sunroof open as well, which, let's test this out. Ah, looks so there much you better go. than our discovery. It does. <laughs> oh, so you can just lift. You're watching you can just lift the top and then again another button press oh that's nice and windows not sure what this does ah right i do not want to close that without closing the sunroof first so you have one button that controls the sunroof and another button that controls Black. the cover and there's grab handles everywhere. A really, a really nice feature is the grab handle to the front of the vehicle for the passenger, which is... This one there for the driver when he loses his nerve. Loses <laughs> You just want to give up hope and hold on for dear life. The doors are nice and steady. There's a lovely, lovely detailing to the... <laughs> to the to the doors that pays quite a nice tribute to the old defender where the metal screws are concerned obviously i wouldn't take it apart but there you go oh a quite a pleasant little feature some things never change the bonnet and we've established through the owner's manual that this is a diesel two liter, two -liter diesel on hydraulic legs so it just actually lifts up itself so there's no messing no carry on and everything on the inside looks quite tidy we're not going to run through this quickly because there is already a video 
currently made that we'll be posting that has a much more insight, in-depth detail to the Lots inside. Room, There's a lot of room. These, right into the these wires won't usually be here. Everything's clearly marked and visible, which is quite reassuring, especially for someone like myself, N not mechanically minded nor electric engineer. However, certain things never change and are quite easy to find. Cooler, dipstick. Coolant, dipstick, everything. This will probably lift off quite easily, but I'm not going to try. So there is a policy. There's a policy at the moment that if one of us breaks it, the other has to buy it. So I'm trying to figure out how I can, um, how I can break it just discreetly and then repair it thinking one of these handles no but it is a beautiful vehicle we're very happy with, uh, having a look at it had a good look underneath earlier as well and the underfloor protection to the new defender is extremely impressive everything's flat and roughly the same level and a lot of a lot of Under Armour. What did you say the, uh, the prote under protection was called? And that is the front of the vehicle, which continues all the way around. Continues to halfway the door, the plate comes back to there. So if you're watching, it measures to at least halfway to the front door. So that is a lot of protection if you're off roading. And we're not even on the full raised suspension either, so with the ground clearance added, very impressive. Haven't really found any particular niggles or concerns. Somebody said, is it friendly enough for a dog? It's friendly enough for several dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Might need some steps. Yeah. If your dog's a show, jo a show dog that knows how to jump, then that's good. If not... Police, might need a lift. Police. Farmers will be, it's okay for farmers. Yeah, if you're a farmer, yeah. Your sheep might need a bit of a hand as well, though. <laughs> but, um, no, it's nice and sturdy. Can't complain. Headlights. Particularly one of my favourites, the Squirkles. That's true, you know. They are called Squirkles. They are called what? The squirkles. That's okay. what the, te the design team called them. Because you've got the... It's difficult, difficult to break, so they do it. Yeah, because... It's quite solid. You noticed it, it's a lot solider than the um, Discovery. The plastic seems heavier. There's nothing bendy on it, obviously. That would have to be put to the test in the jungle, but... It has been. It is. But I suppose solid. that is where it's destined to go at the end mm. of the day. Mm -hmm. So if we continue round... The front. Oh yes, yeah. somebody mentioned somebody mentioned door seals, which is quite interesting. I mentioned if they are upturned, water will pull up inside and get into the vehicle. However, on the new Defender, we've got nice airtight sealing all the way around the vehicle. And there's no. And there's a secondary one on yep. the bottom of the door fits under the sill, so it locks under the sill. So, thoughts on the... Thoughts on the interior? Thoughts My on thoughts? Your um, thoughts? Very strong. It is practical, easy to clean. The seats, although these aren't leather seats, I prefer these. They, they appear to be the strongest Land Rover seats I've ever seen. Um, I think they would take a lot of knocking. Still have the plasticky bits, the plastic on the sides, but again, these seem very solid, unlike um, ones I've seen in the past where they break. They do seem to be well made. The vehicle itself is, it, it just seems to be so, I'm still on. You're still on. I'm just saying, it just seems to be, designed to take a bit of a good knock and, eat, and wipe it down with a wet cloth and then off you go again. Um, it's like anything, it's, it's brand new, but it doesn't seem to have a lot that's gonna snap off it. 
Of course, there are concerns of the electrics. However, from what it's been what what it's been stated, the new defender can also withhold one hour submerged underwater before any electrical problems should arise. Is that at the wading depth. That's at the wading depth. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah. and the wading depth, which we know, is 900 which, millimeters. Which is huge. So 900 yeah. millimeters would come. Well, it's way above there, I'd say there. It's just under a meter, so you'd be looking at top of your wheel arches, and that'll be about your weight and depth. Which usually on the safe side for drivers, we tend to measure and stick to the top of the tyre, or well, we do when we're off road. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> Which is too much. In the discovery. Yeah, the, uh, the disco is good for the top of your tyre. Yes, without yeah. a snorkel. A so. bit of this as well as on board, Suspe the suspension goes high, so you would have a bit more ground. You'd have a It is, it's very impressive. You just have to start saving for one now because, you know. Stop buying lottery tickets. I think so, yeah. But it's um, design of the front, which is probably the thing that will get the most criticism because it's the front of the vehicle, everything everyone's going to be looking at. Well, it's the best designed front that Land Rover done for a long time because looking around the showroom, all the other vehicles are around. Um, Range Rovers. The Range Rovers and very uh, they're very similar this does look quite land rover I like it. it does look good it does it looks like a land rover in a room full of range rovers ladies and gentlemen you've got a land rover and sure it does blend in at some stages and some features but on the other other hand it is not a range rover nor is it a discovery <laughs> No, it's great. Can you imagine off-roading? You sat in the passenger seat. Yeah, or in the back sleeping. Or in the back. Yeah, you could put a, you could put mattresses in the back because, like I say, it's all flat. We've accidentally turned my phone off. A nice, another nice feature that has been kept are the Alpine windows, which is really, 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 really good. I can't complain about having my favourite feature still in there. The sunroof, which I've naturally seen, I've naturally seen in uh, action until today. I've never seen it move, so it's the camera's not even on me anymore. There we go. So, oh, and there's a Discovery Five behind you as well, which quite a lot of people do consider this to be the next Discovery or the Discovery that should have been. However, again. I think when you're looking at it like that, you've got the best of both worlds. You're difficult, if you're looking for a very good off-roader, your problem now is going to be, what would you buy? The new Discovery or the new Defender? Because they're both pretty good vehicles. I wouldn't know which one I have now. That's, the que that's a good question to ask you all then. Which would you go for? Would you go for a Defender, a new Defender 110, or would you go for the Discovery 5, which is over there? Uh, that's the landmark as well, Discovery 5. We did have a look at that. But no. We've been off-roading. We need to get off-roading this. We've been off-roading the five, and we the Discovery. Yes. Yeah. And that for us, the Discovery Five, really did surprise us. For a man that has his doubts on, or did have his doubts a lot on electric vehicles and modern vehicles, it's definitely. Um, I loved it. Yeah, I know you did. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's a. It's a really beautiful vehicle. Um, I'm not just saying that. It's. Um, I must, I'll be honest, see it in real life. Don't just look at pictures of to be, it. Yeah, it's better than to do it just as it's a lot, lot. I had my doubts when I first saw it, like everyone. But now I've seen it. Um, it's far, it's better than, it's better than we could really imagine, isn't it? And as we were driving in as well, we saw uh, another 110 being taken out for a drive with a, a green one, potential yeah. customer, yeah. potential buyer, so, and they do look good on the, uh, on the road as well. So that's the next step, getting one on the road and having a good play with it. Yes, Land Rover, we do need a one to take out. To t <laughs> he couldn't weekend. help himself. I told him to behave <laughs> himself and he couldn't. For a weekend. For a weekend, yes, camping could take the dog. Could take everyone with this, honestly. 
could take your kids, could take your wife, could take your dogs, could even take the cat if it was game. There is enough room for everyone in here. And as you know, it has got a seven seat option, which this one does not have, but that is yet to be seen. I'd like to see the seven seats and all the arrangements, which I can show you if you like. We do have the owner's manual on the other side. Also, the middle seat, which I know Greg King got in touch about, asking about the front passenger centre seat. Sadly, there isn't one, which remains to be anticipated as well. I think there'd be quite a lot of room if you imagine taking that out. Well, that's how it'll... Yeah, there will be enough You can see here... This is all wasted. I would actually this go would for... All... I would go for a six-seater. Yeah. Or have a middle seat, definitely. Because this is... It's nice and it's great, but there's a lot of wasted room there. I'd have the seat in there. That's true. You could that have is the dog. true. I mean, for another another grab a grab spot, you know, if yeah, you need yeah, two or yeah. three. But um. But if you had your seat, you can carry kit there. You can I was put saying, things in it. You, the, know. you could have the you could have a dog seat belt in the third yeah, seat if you yeah. wanted, nice and safe. I love the seats. Yeah. Good seats. The seats are lovely. Yeah. There's so many options so for the strong. seats as well. It's crazy how many colours and combinations you can go for with the seats. I mean, they are my favourite colours on there as well. Cream especially and it all looks good even with the plastic interior being white every color you can't go you can't fault it or go wrong with it the doors as well still ring true to defender doors in my humble opinion i know that there's never going to be a fully clear view on these vehicles but at the end of the day i mean that to me that to me says defender it says land rover Ah, here we are. Yes, the owner's manual, which Dad commented on before, being pretty much the thinnest manual we have ever seen, which could either be reassuring or not. I'd say it's reassuring. I think you'd get more details online, but it has everything in, and then there'll be a on the, on the dashboard, it'll tell you itself on the uh, information center. It'll tell you how everything works. Yeah, you've got all the, let's see the seating arrangements quickly. Let's see how many. So your seating positions, all seven, eight, sorry. Eight. Wait, hang on, that's. Is that just telling you all the steps yeah, of the yeah. seating The main thing to remember about this Discovery is unlike the old Discovery, Defender, Defender, sorry, the old Defenders, I couldn't fit in. My elbows used to stick out the window and my knees touched the dashboard. I've sat in this one and I don't even have to have the seat fully back. I'm just over six foot, six foot one, and I don't even need the seat fully back to drive comfortably. So the difference straight away is you can actually, anyone over five foot eight would enjoy driving. The defender um, unlike the old defenders which were a little bit tight to say the least especially if you had the bulkhead in behind which my defenders always did have they were a little bit cramped in the front this one a loads of room lots and lots of room and i've just been told by cincy rovers that there are 14 adjustable seats oh, so okay. 14 adjustable ways that's for the it. seat arrangements which is i'd like to see that still because that is impressive i think that's probably the same yeah. as the discovery that's your, one of the optional extras there, your tyre repair system. I think we showed you the um, the empty parts on this one, yeah. but you can get a tyre repair kit that fits in so you can fix your tyre if you get a puncher out when mm -hmm. you're off-roading, which to me is a sensible thing because if you get one puncher, you can always get another one and you only carry one spare normally. So it's a handy... Um, It, is. it has it has all the necessary information you're going to need. If you wanted any more, then it would be, be found on online. Yeah, or, and there's numbers in the back of the book as well, so if there was something that you couldn't find, you could always call Land Rover up yourself and have a have a chat with them. More grab handles, which you probably need if one of us is driving. turned it off? The, the 
key I've took the, the keys out so we, but it's uh, I think this so does it have a automatic turn off uh, place mark here shown it's place mark here shown and press that so that's the key again Snuck off with the key in case we had any ideas. <laughs> but now we'll have another another quick look at the driver's seat. That is, after all, the best seat in the house. Oh, oh! I've just found something new that I haven't seen before. What does this do? What's that? Actually, that does nothing. That is not a button. That's telling... That looks like it's telling you the door's open. It is. It's just to tell you the door's not shut, I think. But it's this door, so that's yeah. fine. So, sorry if that was more exciting. <laughs> I made that up to be more be exciting than it was. But, um, it's an alarm. You need the, that's why you need the instructions. And child lock, I'm yep, presuming. Yep, lock the windows and the yeah. doors. Which you also have here windows. as well. That's to lock the doors in the car so you can lock... So what was that for? That's to lock the back windows so the ah, kids the, can't the drop windows, the windows. windows, right. And to lock the back doors and that locks all the doors. That's your electric mirrors, front mirrors. That's all your electric windows. That's your memory seat, so you've got memory one, two, three for your seat. Fantastic. And the controls are down the side. And I presume this could be for... I think that just tells you your doors are open. It's a white light to tell you your doors are open. Twenty-three. This this one's only done twenty-three miles. Ah, there's your steering wheel control. One leg on. So you go in and out, up and down. And then you've got controls. Nice and, easy. and then you've got all the controls to the seats, and the seats are really comfortable as well, which I might have to add. What else was there that we covered but didn't cover? Cameras. Cameras, ah yes, we did instigate four most cameras. of the cameras. Oh, there'll be more than four. Yep. Yeah. Camera on the front, camera on the back area. Sensors, cameras, camera here. Got one camera already. I'm quite I'm quite positive there's cameras in the headlights as well, but it the lower headlights, but could be completely wrong. Cameras up there. Cameras up up on in the, the mirror. front. Mm -hmm. And also cameras underneath the side mirrors, the wing mirrors, and uh, camera. So that'll be for your clear, clear view, clear sight view. Also got a, also got another question which we arose later with the first edition badge, just like the special edition. Sorry, the special. Special vehicles, units, those badges. I wonder how long it takes for people to start recreating these and putting them on their defenders, which, um, I don't know, counts as cheating, I suppose, but. Oh. So that's something to watch out for. Who's going to start making fake badges for the new defenders? Plastic checker. Plastic checker plate as well. Which <laughs> um, I suppose probably defeats the object of the checker plate however it's a nice design it it's a nice smart. design piece it it's smart it adds a bit of a personality nod. it's a nod to the um, the old defender isn't it it is really it's a nod it's something that is more of a sentimental or a nostalgic piece to the defender rather than for purpose however you can get a few bits you can get bits on the front here we'll get, get some, some nice spotlights and spotlights yeah. and some meteor bar winch. if you like a winch yeah, yeah. I continue to be very, very someone, someone said I continue to be amazed by the Range Rover Classic visibility. Obviously, a modern won't be quite as good, but how easy is it to see without the cameras? How easy is it to see in the new Defender? Well, I, actually, I was thinking that itself. The back window, if you look at the back, they're not very. Um, if you look at the windows. The size of the windows are not huge, so the observation would be lying a lot, especially with the headrests. I think you're going to be quite. Uh, it hasn't got the observation, but then again, the old Defender didn't either. So 
It isn't a discovery. Discovery's got a huge amount of office space here. I was going to say, if we go right into the back, as you can see, yeah. It's the, very tiny little windows, aren't they? I mean, if you come, come to think of it, if you've got a commercial discovery or a... Yeah, old, yeah. The, considering the older vehicles, or even Land uh, Defender, some of them didn't have windows at all, yeah. so you just had to even you know, rely Alp, on your own. It, it, has Alp, it is light inside, but it's remember it's all tinted as well. They all come with tinted windows. Mm. It has Alpine, it has Alpine lights. It is light. It's a lot more. Um, it's actually a lot more spacious inside as well. Because usually I thought my head would be hitting the top of it. Oh yeah. But actually. Well, I think that's due to the sunroof comes out on the outside. Mm. So that gives you more headroom. It does give you a bit more headroom. I think if you wanted more space and if you wanted more headroom and observation, you'd be going for a discovery, discovery. not a defender. This is a more of a it's, it's, it's a purpose vehicle. This definitely. Oh. Very strong. Will Butler asks, "Do we like it?" Yes. Yes. I'd like you... to see. I'd like to see the other variants and the other. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see the ninety. But I like them. I like how it's made. I like the seats. Are probably one of them, the best, definitely the best Land Rover seats I've ever seen. I think I'd like to see a few more vari uh, varieties of yeah. this vehicle as well with the interior, especially with the. It's very simplified inside. There's not a lot of switches. I know it's electric. Everything's electric, and if one thing goes, everything goes. But modern reliability, I would hope that it would be fine. Um, but it's very, very um, easy to drive. You've got to remember it's like anything as well. If you get the new iPhone, it's not going to be perfect straight away. Well, there's going to be, there's well, updates, done, there's going to be... Yeah, but they've done the testing and as you say, this can go in, this can get an update and off you go again. But it just looks so easy to drive and so comfortable considering it's meant to be, a, it is a utility vehicle. It is the, it is the beginning of yeah, it though as well. You know, it's, um, yeah. you can't expect anything to be 100%, but I think this is probably as close as it can get now. If not, go get further. I do think I think there's still a lot more that can be done with it, but over the years, hopefully we'll see a lot more evolution to it than with the old one. Well, the I do other, like the, it. They have yeah. another one driving around here, the green one. It's got all the um, some of the options on uh, the side pannier and the, the, the uh, steps and yeah, it's the, got um, snow and things like that. The I'd adventure like to, pack. I, I think, think we'll have to have one. a look around that next because mm -hmm. I imagine it's maybe it's a little bit less um, inside as well because. Even though this is sparse inside, I'd, I'd like to see even less, really. If you're going to use it for proper adventures, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't want any uh, the, the, the least um, equipment that can go wrong, the better. But This is more the urban path. This is for the yeah, city yeah. for city folk that would be driving this one. I mean, you could still smart. take it off-road. It's, it's got as much capability as the, oh, yes, you know, the ones with the packs. However, it's kitted out for on-road. Good. I think. Well, it is. It's more of a. It hasn't got any of the, the ruggedness of the. It's um, not got the. It's not got the pack on it either. Yeah, if you look. Yeah. There we go. There's no. There's no added extras to the sides, and I'm sure no, no filter. But we do know that not filter. Sorry, snorkel. But we do know where the filter is. So the snorkel would be attached onto this side of the vehicle. So. It does. Yeah. The air cleaner. The air box is here. So I presume the air snorkel runs. The ones I've seen are just built, they build it into here. It does, it looks and like it's fitted it to the actual vehicle, yeah. it covers all this and goes down. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it does connect to the roof a little bit, but it does. It looks Imagine good, it, it looks be, good, it looks discreet. Be rough, yeah. It's nothing that looks out of place. What engine is this one? This is the 2.0 no, diesel. This is a 2 litre uh, diesel, 4 cylinder 2 litre diesel. They do a three litre diesel and they also do a two litre <laughs> petrol. Someone dad has also just said, I'm still keeping my wolf. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah understandable. <laughs> Very understandable. I would quite like a... Uh... We were looking at a wolf last week. A friend of mine's just bought an ex army 90 wolf. Full military spec still, it's fantastic. It's 60 miles. 60,000 60, miles, 60, miles, yeah. So. Well, you're going to do a thing on that, aren't you? I think these guys went back in with it. Yeah. But, um, I think we've just seen two potential new owners of the new Defender that looked very happy. <laughs> They're walking away looking very happy with their decision, which I would be too. I mean, I could spend, well, I don't know if you could, I could spend all day having a look at it and going over it, however. 
we've covered it all really for as far as um there is more video footage to come obviously but as far as it goes it's very it's all positive for us i mean definitely positive the hardest as i say the hardest decision now would be what would you have this or the discovery new discovery so that's a good question which would you rather take or either off road or on road which would you which would you rather take <laughs> And then there's, we also have an Evoke with a roof rack, which is most deceiving. I actually quite like the look of them with a roof rack. They, even that has got more of an improvement with a roof rack because it's got that now a little bit of adventure to it. Again, for a city car, which the Evoke is more of a lifestyle, comfortable vehicle. It's a Range Rover. However, yeah, I wouldn't mess with this one. <laughs> So we could have a quick look at the Discovery 5 in comparison, considering... Just look. Yeah, we'll just have a little walk around it. There's quite a lot of people... Where's Dad gone? Quite a lot of people do say that the Defender is the true predecessor, a true predecessor to the Discovery range. However, the Discovery 5 has grown on both of us, so our opinion, and this is the landmark, in a very attractive... Burn Anyone has the official official name for, for that? So that'd be great to know. But it is again wheelbase. I think, I think I think it's slightly less. I mean, we'd have to look at the bookwork, but I think this is slightly short, just a fraction shorter. But if it is, there'd be nothing in it. No. The Defender, one ten. As we've discussed, it could be we could be wrong. I could be wrong because it's not you that's actually stating it. But the 110 is a 119 Inches. inch wheelbase, and the Discovery 4 is 113.6, which I found out on the pub quiz. So this is neither. But this is neither. This is a Discovery 5. However, the it does look slightly shorter, slightly shorter wheel. Wheel length. I don't know. To it's hard to tell the wheelbase it might be the back just looking at it it's it's, it's a it's a different shape as well obviously the front points forward points in more than the defender whereas the defender probably drops to about I think the here it's got less overhang it's got definitely less overhang than the discovery and obviously the back end of the discovery comes out so much more to the new Defender. So. The Defender's got less overhead, so on off-road it would be better, probably. But then, you know, they all lift up so high, it doesn't really matter. Say the ground clearance on the on the Discovery 5 is one of the best. I think it undergoes the... It's just underneath the Range Rover. Mm. Not the Range Rover Sport, full-fat Range Rover. Which is lovely. I mean, if you were going to have a Range Rover. <laughs> Just if. <laughs> but the, that is apparently, as I gather, has the most ground clearance, the Range Rover L2. I haven't got a clue what it is. Just a full, fat, massive Range Rover. And obviously, if you're going to be off-road... So there you have it. There will be more to come. Overall, overall, I personally liked it before I'd even seen it. I didn't. I wasn't in love with it, but I like now. I'm in love with it. For me, Christmas present. <laughs> but um, no, it's definitely uh, definitely worth saving up for. It's. Um, Right size, nice and comfortable, it will go a long distance, which is something that I would never have relied on the old Defender to do. The old Defender, I think, would rely on to go around the field. 
weekend everyone Back. we've just come round the corner to this lovely green surprise and honestly when you see them outside whole different view again whole different look I mean they look absolutely fantastic and this is green I mean oh again no added extras apart from the obviously meteor tyres and that is probably the tyres that I personally would have. Wrangler, Goodyear. Looks great. Again, can't fault it. This one is probably locked, so I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I wouldn't dare uh, try and open it. But I'm gonna have a go. Oh oh. Very nice surprise. So, obviously, there's a little bit more to see in here. Different interior. Oh, like the interior in this one. And the boot, which get to see a little bit more of how everything's used. Obviously, these are perfect. All right, this one's more of a bit of me. It's a nicer colour, this one. I like this colour more, definitely. Some photos I'm not I wasn't entirely sure of it, but it's definitely a oh yeah, with the cream beige interior. Again, even though it's leather, it still has it still has that material you like. It's the, not leather. Not that. The middle bit might be uh, the outside. That's leather. Nylon. That's yeah. You sure? I'm not sure. Mm, that feels like leather, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Even better in some ways, because if it was leather, it would probably be. I don't think it is. I don't think it is leather. Same everywhere else, though. Ah, we haven't got a fridge in the middle of this one. What? So there's no fridge in this one. Yeah. So I'm guessing this one is a little bit more no of an sunroof. adventure. No sunroof. So this is definitely a cheaper part on the market which hey it just better, goes better tires. better tires but it just goes to show that even if it's on the lower end of the market it doesn't have as many gadgets in it it's definitely the one for some others i hope that's not a leak it does it looks fantastic and in pan Pangea green. Definitely, I think I'd be more more inclined towards this one. I think that's a lovely colour. That's the best. Uh, that's the best colour I've used. And with them tyres, I mean that is just fantastic. As we all know, underneath is nice and well protected, so you can't uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, we have the 110 and we have the 110. Ironically, the price of that one isn't far off from this one, probably. Well, not far off from some of them. I don't know how much that one is. I was going to say, I wouldn't know how much this one is exactly. That looks <laughs> Someone said, is it, so it's leaking, it's definitely a Defender. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a wall. Love it. <laughs> But no, definitely, um, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, if you did want a, if I wanted a, 
one turn an old one turn or a classic one turn or a late one turn sorry dad then that's definitely what you'd go for or what I'd go for personally but it's actually got I think it's got the same similar tyres to well it's got the same make tyres not the same tread but the same so definitely stands out in the forecourt We all know you do. You stand out. This one's never going to need to worry about that. But with respect to both vehicles. And I think I'm going to go and take some photos now before it starts to rain.